Hello, beautiful artists! Today, in art class, we will get inspired by the famous love sculpture of Robert Indiana and recreate this wonderful art piece. Robert Clark was an American artist born in the state of Indiana. That's why we know him as Robert Indiana. He is associated with the pop art movement. Pop art uses images of popular culture. It celebrates commonplace objects and people of everyday life. One of its goals is to elevate popular culture to the level of fine art. In 1965, Robert Indiana created his love print for the Museum of Modern Art's Christmas card. That was the basis for his 1970 love sculpture and love stamp. After this very quick intro, let's start with our own project. We will create an art piece using the world love. We're gonna need a normal piece of white paper, a pencil, a black marker, and any coloring materials of your choice, like crayons, markers, watercolors. The first step is to divide the paper into four equal parts. To do so, I'm gonna start folding in a horizontal way my paper. I'm gonna press just a little bit. And once I fold it once, I'm gonna fold it twice just like this. I'm gonna press just a little bit. I don't want to be too harsh, I just want to have those reference lines. So when I open my paper, ta -da, here I have four equal parts. In each of those segments, I'm gonna write one letter. A letter L, letter O, letter V, and letter E. I'm gonna just use my pencil to point out those lines. And I'm gonna start by making the L on the upper left corner. I'm gonna be very light, just in case I messed up, I can erase it. And from that L that I just made, I'm gonna create a block layer. I'm gonna do this by just going around the line I just made. Now I'm gonna go for the O. But I wanted to be a little bit more creative and instead of drawing a O, I'm going to draw a heart that is going to look kind of like a O. After that, I'm going to go with the V. First, I'm going to draw the V with a simple line and then I'm going to make it a bold letter just by going around the lines I made in the first place. This is going to look like a block letter and then afterwards I will erase those uh, reference lines I did at the beginning. And last but not least, I'm gonna draw letter E. And once I'm done drawing it, I'm gonna make it into a block letter by going around those lines I just made. And here we have the basis of our art piece. I'm gonna get a black marker and I'm gonna go around the block letters I just made. The L, the heart, that seems like an O the V and the E. Once I'm done with my marker, I'm gonna grab my eraser and erase all those pencil marks I just did before. And now the fun part starts. What I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna grab my marker again and I'm just gonna draw several lines around my art piece. They don't have to be perfect, they just have to be random lines that go all over the paper. They can be wavy, they can have loops on them, they just have to go all around. I'm gonna go through the letters again, just so they don't fade with all the lines that I just made. And now I'm gonna decide whether I'm gonna paint the letters with warm or cool colors because if I'm painting the letters with warm colors, then I'm gonna paint the background, all those line segments with cool colors. Or you can do the opposite. If you paint the letters with cool colors, you can paint the outside with warm colors. Yeah, that's right. So in my case, I'm gonna use warm colors for the letters, for the L, the heart, the V, and the E like yellows, oranges, pinks, and red, and I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna color the background with cool colors. Greens, uh, blues, violets, and that's gonna make my letters pop up. You're gonna see that the final result, it's gonna look really amazing. 
As I said before, you can use any coloring material of your choice. In my case, I'm painting the letters with crayons and then I'm gonna do the background, the cool colors, with my watercolors. Let me add some final touches and here we have the final piece. I just want it to look a little bit more fancy. That's why I'm gonna grab again my black marker, scissors, glue and some black cardstock. The first thing I'm gonna do is with my black marker I'm gonna go all over again the letters I just make so they pop up. And once I've done that, what I'm gonna do is that with my scissors, remember how we folded the paper into four equal pieces at the beginning? So I'm gonna go with my scissors through those folds, just like this. So at the end, I'm gonna have four independent pieces of paper, one with each letter. Now that I've done that, what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna cut the excess paper so it looks really nice and I'm gonna paste them into the black cardstock. I really like it because it really has some feeling of Robert Indiana's love sculpture but it's actually very unique and it also looks like stained glass, don't you think? So here is the final result. I think it looks really cool and I really hope you enjoyed this lesson and I will see you very soon. Bye!